Stop with 3642, descent and maintain, so level 200. Okay, fellow pilots, aviators, and anybody watching this tape, we are cruising at flight level 230, direct to Robbinsville, New Jersey, on board this Pilatus DC-12 turboprop. Cruising at 296 knots over the ground. Burning 428 pounds an hour. We're going to be talking about the landing gear of this aircraft. So, the landing gear is a conventional tricycle configuration that is extended and retracted using hydraulic pressure produced by an electrically powered hydraulic pump. Landing gear extension and retraction is the only function of the hydraulic system, and landing gear operation is completely automatic upon pilot gear selection. So we have a tricycle, landing gear, nose wheel, and main gear that is hydraulically operated. There is an electrically driven hydraulic pump that has hydraulic pressure to extend the landing gear and retract it. Section 2 says the a nitrogen charge accumulator is used to maintain hydraulic pressure and hold the landing gear in the retracted position following hydraulic system failure. A combination of hydraulic pressure and nitrogen fuel accumulator is holding the landing gear up. If it is required, the landing gear can be lowered manually through a combination of free falling an emergency landing gear hand pump. So, if we need to extend it, we can pump it down and use free fall combination to get the gear down. Landing gear position and warning indication consists of three indicator lights, green, red, and orange. Tone. Gear warning, less than 10% torque Coast with a silencer Over here we have three green lights for the nose for the main gear two. Three green landing gear down and locked. Any red indication is a warning sign that the gear is not down and locked, and you can silence. Delta seven Delta Kilo to send a You can silence it by this silencer button. That is two one zero for seven Delta Kilo. The nose wheel steering is accomplished by a mechanical nose wheel steering and by a differential braking, which means it's a mechanical nose wheel steering. There's no hydraulic pressure for the nose wheel, and we can use differential braking if we want to turn sharp. Aircraft braking is controlled by tow pedals that operate brake assemblies attached to the left and right landing gear. Propeller reverse also contributes to aircraft braking. Refer to propeller Number system. Niner, zero, zero, Hotel Sierra, have a nice day. Contact Chicago Center, 119.85. 119.85, zero, zero, Hotel Sierra. Thanks for the short Good night. Good evening, Center Pilatus, 900 Hotel Sierra. Flight level 230, direct Robbinsville. November uh, 900 Hotel Sierra, Chicago Center, Roger. Chicago, a lot of uh, control. Chicago! Okay, let's describe the landing gear. Okay, let's summarize it before. Right, sure. Hydraulically activated landing gear. Electronically driven hydraulic system. There's an electrical driven hydraulic pump to pump the hydraulic pressure to get the landing gear up and down. That's right. To get it down, you can use free fall pump gravity to get it down, plus a hand pump to pump it down. And a combination of two to get it down. Right. What about the steering? We have mechanical nose wheel steering and differential braking if we want to turn left and right as necessary, okay? The nose gear is a fluid and nitrogen filled shock strut. The shock strut consists of piston and fork assembly that slide inside a cylinder. A torque link connects the piston fork assembly to the cylinder. The cylinder is mounted inside the nose wheel well. The nose gear is locked in the extended position by putting the folding strut in the over center position. 
The spring is attached to the nose gear to assist in free falling during emergency extension. The nose gear doors are spring held loaded to open position and are mechanically closed during nose gear extension. The nose gear retracts rear root into the nose wheel well and is completely enclosed by the gear doors when the landing gear is retracted. So the nose wheel is retracted by hydraulic pressure. There is a strut that's filled with nitrogen and fluid. As the landing gear is extended, the nose wheel is extended, it's going aft of um, its position and retracting aft. And as it's retracting, it's mechanically linked to the gear doors and the gear doors close as it's retracting. Now let's talk about the main landing gear. Okay. Both main landing gear are trailing link types. A fluid and nitrogen filled shock strut connects the trailing link to main leg hinge point. Each main gear actuator incorporates a mechanical down lock and a gear down and locked indicator switch. The main landing gear doors consist of a single door that is attached to the main gear leg and the outside edge of the main gear well. Each main gear retracts inward. Descent of 16,000, full rain altimeter is 3001. 16,003 is Traffic descending 11 o'clock, 2300 feet above us. There he is, right there. I got him on the TCAS right there. You see him? You should be able to pick him up. He's about 10 miles out. Oh, there he is, right there. Yeah, right yeah, there. Yep, yep. Look off your left wing too. I got him. That's right him. No factor. Each main gear actuator incorporates a mechanical down lock and a gear down locked indicator switch. The main landing gear doors consist of single door that is attached to the main gear leg and the outside edge of the main gear wheel well. Each main gear retracts inward like into the main gear wheel well. With the landing gear retracted, the main landing gear wheel or entire assemblies are not enclosed and protrude out of the main gear wheel well approximately one inch. Four way now, Timur 3001. 45 this side of uh, Rosewood at 1515,000 flagship 39. So as the landing gear is retracted, retracted inward into the wheel well on the main gear, and the gear itself, the wheel is stuck out, sticking out about one inch, 25.4 millimeter, which is just, I mean, it's nothing. It's like, yeah. like it's just a little bit stick out. All landing gear are held in a fully retracted position by hydraulic pressure. No mechanical op locks are required. So when you lose hydraulic pressure, what will happen is the gear will free fall into the extended position. Yep. Which is great because the safety feature. If you lose hydraulic pressure, it's not going to keep it retract by op lock and you actually manually have to release it. It's just got a free fall. If you want to just let it free fall, you can. If you want to assist it, you can pump it down and then get the three greens down the lot. All landing gear are held in the fully retract position by the wall. Okay, we talked about that. Now, nose wheel steering is accomplished using rudder pedals, which are mechanically connected to the nose wheel. So, if you're steering on the ground, you're pushing the right rudder, it's going to turn right. Left rudder is going to turn left. And if you want to use differential braking, you can use it for differential braking and turn right and left in this, sir. Additional nose wheel steering is done through differential braking. Talked about that. Use of rudder pedal only will turn the nose wheel 12 degrees. Left and right from center. Differential braking will actually turn the nose wheel 60 degrees. Much sharper if you want to make a really make sharp right. turn. So if you want to turn sharp, you advance, you push on the, pu the pedal. Another traffic just right ahead. Uh, let's see, another traffic 6,000. Nah, that's no factor, way up there. Fort Wayne, Indiana, right there. You see that class Charlie right yep, there? Yep, yep. A shimmy damper is installed on the nose gear strut to eliminate nose wheel isolation. Isolation. So the nose wheel, instead of going like this, has got a shimmy damper to prevent it from shaking. The tires, okay, are a low pressure type. Number four Bravo Alpha Contact Chicago Center on a one two seven point eight. Center 
Atlanta, 127.88. Better allow operation eight. from soft and unimproved field. So you got three big 14, tires are you up? with heavy ply and low pressure that they can operate off of the gravel, brass, uh, anything other than pavement, unimproved. Let's summarize that. Nose wheel steering with rudder, how many degrees? 60. 12 degrees. 12 degrees with the outfit Differential braking, how many degrees? 60 degrees. 60 degrees. What's holding the landing gear up in the retracted position? The pressure, the hydraulic the pressure. pressure. How does the landing gear extend? Yeah, with the hydraulic pressure. pressure, if you lose hydraulic pressure, free fall, and then you can pump it with a pump. Delta 1417 Chicago, uh, Roger, descend at 1800 feet of minor grader for me. Delta 1417, uh, we're doing uh, 2500 feet a minute now. Thank you, sir. Flag 3964, contact Indianapolis Center 128.07. 2807, good day, flagship 3964. Pretty much, you know, if you want to keep the landing gear simple, you can get into the real, you know, inside mechanical uh, protection all, and all that. Right, but it, uh, it flies stuff. Just to, you know, get yourself familiar with the system. Uh, this you don't, is. You don't want to need to know every screw. Uh, exactly. Not looking for that. Well, we can talk about that if you want on the next session of the landing gear. For now, we're going to keep it simple.